What you have here is the relativizing of the natural order because of the new redemptive reality of fallenness and redemption. If there were no sin in the world, it would work. But now that there are people perishing everywhere, and that is so vastly more important than being married or having children, that some people will know themselves called, that's all my life. I'll live for the king, unaffected by any other natural relationship like marriage. Now my argument is, the issue of children is analogous to that. So, you read in the Old Testament, be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth. That's normal, that's good, that's beautiful. Marry and have lots of babies. That's what the Bible says one should do. And then you read this in Mark 10. 29. Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there's no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake in the gospel who will not receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. The focus shifts onto the hundred children you can have if you don't have the other kind. The family of God takes precedent over the biological family in the New Testament. I've said this, and I'll keep saying it. The supreme relationships are the relationships that are supernatural. It's wonderful when they're the same, when natural and supernatural relationships, but they're not always the same. Marriage is for having children, but not absolutely. Marriage is absolutely for pursuing making children into followers of Jesus. It may be that you do it through adoption. It may be that you do it through foster care. It may be that you do it through having a backyard Bible club in your home. It may be that you do it by making your house so hospitable that it's the place all the kids in the neighborhood like to go after school or in the evening. It may be that it means working in the nursery. It may be that your nieces and nephews need to have you around more. It may be that your your little Sunday school class will miss you during the summer. There are a hundred ways to have a hundred children. That's an absolute. We will seek to make children followers of Jesus, whether we give birth to them or not. 